Greg Royce. I'm joined here on the Coach's Corner with women's soccer head coach Graham Miller. Uh, Graham, your team's uh, three-game unbeaten streak. Um, had a nice win over Salisbury Wednesday night. Uh, talk a little bit about that game. Yeah, that was a great result. I mean, um, you know, Salisbury's always been a you know a long long time rival of all our sports teams. So um, it was good for us, you know, after you know losing to them the last four times. I actually thought it was only three, but now I know it's four. <laughs> so uh, I forgot about that one. Try and put them out of my mind. So you know, after losing four games in a row to them, it was nice to uh, nice to finally get one. And you know, the girls really played well. I think they built on the performances of the week before against Catholic in the second half and Frostburg. So it was nice to come out against Salisbury and play a really good night minutes and you know we did have a little spell after we scored where we kind of let them back into the game but um, it was great that after they scored we got the momentum back and and just a great goal to um, you know you know from Lexi and the, the first one uh, say Jack and then a great finish from Elena to you know that header um, with our size to give us that win with three minutes to go so it was a really good win for the girls and, and hopefully we can build off of that yeah and talk about like you talked about a little bit but just um, you know, had a little bit of letdown after the you scored the first goal, but then to bounce back from that after they got the equalizer. Yeah, and that's uh, you know that's huge for us. You know that's something that you know we've lost the goal in every game. You know until Saturday, which I know we'll talk about. But we had lost the goal in every game, and so for us to you know come out and and not not let the heads drop to actually like say okay, well it's one one, let's pick our heads up and let's go after this. And and the girls really did well. So I you know this is something that we're going to continue to work on. You know if we go a goal down or we you know the the match is tied up, how do we respond? and I was very pleased with the response. Yeah. And on a Saturday, uh, Haverford Saturday night, 0-0 um, zero, zero tie. You touched on it in the post game that a lot of times 0-0 zero, zero tie, you think boring soccer, but that was hardly the case Saturday night. Yeah, it was. And, you know, sometimes that's what, you know, I always get the jokes from, you know, Paul Cantabeni, our men's lacrosse coach. Oh, you guys play for 110 minutes and it's 0-0 zero, zero and, you know, what a waste of time. But, um, you know, I think it was a, I think it was a great match. You know, we both um, went after each other. I thought they were they were the better team for long spells. Um, you know, we didn't quite get our offense clicking. Um, you know, Haverford's got really strong, strong back line. A goalkeeper um, was the, the defensive player of the week last week in the Centennial. So we knew it was going to be a tricky task. And uh, I think with a late game and coming off that emotional win over Salisbury, we're a little tired. And uh, but we battled through. And the fact that we didn't concede a goal for our first game and th first one in seven games, and the the fact that we didn't lose as well. So I was pretty happy that we we got a result and we you know kept that streak going of of not losing in three games. Yeah. Yeah, obviously the defensive effort, I mean, obviously, you know, trying to build on, you know, the win over Salisbury and being able to come out and pitch a shutout, um, that's going to give your goalkeeper and your back lines some confidence. Yeah, you know, Tiffany's come out with a lot of saves, and I think she's been unlucky with some of the goals that have been scored on her. They've really been pretty sweet shots. So, um, you know, for her to, to get a shutout, make some saves, you know, tie her career high in saves, and, and for the defense, that's a fairly, you know, new defense that we've had to assemble since we lost Emily last year to graduation. We did some great things at the back, and I thought I thought it was a really good game for us, especially playing you know two sets of overtime to to not let, not allow a goal. Yeah. Um, so I was pretty happy with it. And then uh, first overtime, you guys probably had the best chance of the match, and looked like it was in, but. Uh, stayed scoreless. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I thought she was going to do it again. You know, Elena, you know, has been, you know, a really good freshman center back for us, but she's also got that long throw in, which is huge. And then she, you know, we started putting her up for corners on the goalkeeper right in the six yard box. Hopefully, I don't give too much away here for um, teams this week. But the, uh, you know, so she's just, you know, she's got the height and she really wants to go after the ball, which is, you know, half the battle. We really need to get players that want to get up there, want to like beat a goalkeeper and, you know, because it's dangerous. You might get punched in the head or, or whatever. And, you know, she did it against Salisbury where she just, I mean, you see it. She's right above the goalie. And in this case, I mean, again, she wins the header, does everything right, puts it down on the ground, and the goalkeeper just comes up with an unbelievable save with her foot. And, um, you know, 90% of the time, that's probably a goal. So, um, you know, that's why that goalkeeper, you know, like I said, was the defensive player of the week last week for them. And um, and, and what a great save. And, you know, but we're, we're going to keep, you know, trying to do our best on set pieces. I think that's where we can get a lot of goals from. Yeah. I uh, look ahead to this week, um, another strong Centennial Conference team coming in in Johns Hopkins tomorrow night. And then uh, you open conference play on Saturday, so talk about the week ahead. 
Yeah, so we're kind of um, dividing the weekend too. I told the girls that you know all our focus has got to go into our practice tonight and our game tomorrow against Johns Hopkins. This is the you know last non-conference game that we'll play this year. Um, you know we're three three and one right now. It would be great to you know go into conference play you know with another win. So you know everything's going to come down to you know how hard we work tonight in practice, the video sessions that we're going to do, and then you know Hopkins tomorrow, and then um, you know that'll be us done with non-conference. We're going to give them a day off Wednesday, and then we're going to be ready to go for Widener on Saturday so all the focus right now is on that game tomorrow and then we will regroup and get ready for uh, for Saturday and it's going to be you know it's going to be another you know tough race in the in the conference and we want to start well away to Widener. All right um, for Graham Miller I'm Greg Royce the coach's corner coach thanks for your time. You're very welcome Greg thanks.